Charles Cross or Emile Hortensius Charles Cross was a French poet and inventor. He was born in Fabrizan, Ade. Cross was a well-regarded poet and humorous writer. As an inventor, he was interested in the fields of transmitting graphics by telegraph and making photographs in color, but he is perhaps best known for being the first person to conceive a method for reproducing recorded sound. An invention he named the paleophone. Charles Cross died in Paris at the age of 45. Cross was born to the philosopher Simon Charles Henry Cross and Josephine Thor. He was the grandson of grammarian Antoine Cross. Cross was the brother of and the painter and sculptor Henry Cross and of Antoine Hippolyte Cross, a surgeon who was also pretender to the throne of the defunct Kingdom of Arcania in Patagonia from March 6, 1902 until November 1, 1903, and the uncle of Lord Therese Cross, who was the Queen of Arcania and Patagonia from November 1, 1903 until February 12, 1916. In 1860 Cross began studies in medicine, but he soon abandoned them for a life of literary and scientific pursuits. Cross almost invented color photography. In 1869 he published a theory of color photography in which he proposed that a single scene could be photographed through glass filters colored green, violet, and orange. The three negatives obtained through those filters could be developed to produce positive impressions that contained varying amounts of red, yellow, and blue. The three positive impressions, when superimposed on one another, for instance, by making three carbon prints using sufficiently transparent pigments, then transferring the pigmented gelatin onto a single support sheet, would recompose the original colors of the photograph scene. Cross's proposals, which anticipated the subtractive method of modern photography, were similar to more influential ideas advanced about the same time by Louis Ducos du Horon. The same day, May 7, 1869, Charles Cross and Louis Ducos du Horon presented their method of creating color photographs to the French Society of Photography. They had not been in communication beforehand and each knew nothing about the other's research. Cross ended up conceding the invention to Ducos du Horon, despite having deposited a sealed paper at the French Academy of Sciences on December 2, 1867. Ducos du Horon had patented his ideas on November 28, 1868, almost a full year later, but claimed to have written an unpublished paper on the subject in 1862. Cross almost invented the phonograph. As far as is known, no one before him had thought of a practical way to reproduce sound from a recording of airborne sound waves. He gave the Greek name paleophone to his invention. On April 30, 1877 he submitted a sealed envelope containing a letter to the Academy of Sciences in Paris explaining his proposed method. The letter stated in French, Un index léger est solidaire du centre de figure d'une membrane vibrante, il se termina par un point, qui repose sur une surface noirci à la flamme. The English translation is one close to this, a lightweight. Armature is fixed to the center of the face of a vibrating membrane, it ends with a sharp point which rests on a lamp-black surface. This surface is integral with a disc driven by a double movement of rotation and linear progression. The system is reversible, when the tip follows the furrow the membrane restores the original acoustic signal. The letter was read in public on December 3 following. In his letter, after having shown that his method consisted of detecting an oscillation of a membrane and using the tracing to reproduce the oscillation. With respect to its duration and intensity, Cross added that a cylindrical form for the receiving apparatus seemed to him to be the most practical. As it allowed for the graphic inscription of the vibrations by means of a very fine threaded screw. An article on the paleophone was published in La Semaine du Clergé on October 10, 1877, written by Le Bay Leblanc. Cross proposed metal for both engraving tool attached to the diaphragm and receiving material for durability. Before Cross had a chance to follow up on this idea or attempt to construct a working model, Thomas Alva Edison introduced his first working phonograph in the U.S. Edison used a cylinder covered in tinfoil for his first phonograph. Patenting this method for reproducing sound on January 15, 1878. Edison and Cross apparently did not know of each other's work in advance. Cross was convinced that pinpoints of light observed on Mars and Venus, probably high clouds illuminated by the sun, were the lights of large cities on those planets. He spent years petitioning the French government to build a giant mirror that could be used to communicate with the Martians and Venusians by burning giant lines on the deserts of those planets. He was never convinced that the Martians were not a proven fact, nor that the mirror he wanted was technically impossible to build. In the early 1870s Cross was published in the short-lived weekly Renaissance literaire et artistique, edited by Emile Blumont. 
Other contributors included Stefan Mallarmé, Auguste Villiers de Lille Adam and Paul Verlaine. His poem The Kippered Herring inspired Ernest Coquelin to create what he called monologues, short theatrical pieces whose format was copied by numerous imitators. The piece, translated as The Salt Herring, was translated and illustrated by Edward Gorey. The Académie Charles Cross, the French equivalent of the U.S. Recording Academy, is named in his honor. Cross was a member of the group known as the Hydropathes, which existed around the period 1878-1881. Charles Cross, played by Christopher Chaplin, appears in the film Total Eclipse, about the lives of Paul Verlaine and Arthur Rimbaud. Cross is seen for a few seconds at the Le Chat Noir in Paris, a café which opened in 1881 and had become the home for the avant-garde art scene of the time. Marie Corelli published one of his poems posthumously in the text of her 1890s book, Wormwood, with a special note of respect to the recently deceased author. Cross had a love affair from 1867 to 1877 with Nina de Colias. Thanks for watching.